Hi there! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change layout of a page or section on click using Webflow interactions. We will take Pentagram Agency's website as a reference. Let's get to it. Here is the Pentagram's website and their incredible brand identity work for League of Legends. And this is how the page looks in the portfolio view. Here you can see the mockups and videos in full, um, but the page can also be transformed into the detailed view, so you can read more about the project. In the detailed view, you can get to know the project, learn the story and decision-making process behind, but at the same time, you can still see the work that has been done. Of course, you can go back to the portfolio view. And this is what we're gonna replicate in Webflow. Here is one of my projects as an example, and let's see how it works. This is a short intro with a button to learn more about the project. Once clicked, the page turns into a detailed view. So now you can see and read the whole description and look at the mockups at the same time. And you can go back to the portfolio view, of course. And now I'm going to show you how to make it in Webflow using interactions only. I will make this project clonable uh, so you can see how it's built. And to save time, I will not go into the details about the structure. But anyway, let's briefly see what I have here. Basically, here I have a hero section with the project name, um, brief description and cover image. Then there is a short intro with the learn more button, which is going to reveal the detailed description. The container of the description itself has display properties set to hidden, so we can't see it now. And finally, there is a collection list with all the project mockups. So overall, it's a pretty simple structure. And now let's make the interactions. First, we create interaction for the learn more button. Under element trigger, we select mouse click and start a new animation. Let's call it detailed view. Here we want to make the intro text disappear, detailed description appear and the whole content container to transform to two columns. And we want to make this transition smooth. For that, we first make the entire content container a pack by setting the opacity to 0%. Then we want the intro wrapper to disappear by selecting hide show action and setting the display property to none. As for the details container, we want it to appear by setting the display property to block. And after that, we need to change the layout of the entire content container to grid so that it will have two equal columns. This is standard in Webflow. Finally, we want this container to appear by setting its opacity back to 100%. Now let's see if it works. At the beginning, we have everything in place. The intro text is there and the description is hidden while the mockups are below the intro. Once we click the Learn More button, the layout changes to two columns. Uh, the description appears in the left column and the mockups go to the right one. And so now we want to make the transition back to the portfolio view. To do that, we need to add interaction to the portfolio view button, which is placed inside the details container. We add mouse click interaction again and start a new animation. Let's call it portfolio view. Here we need to do pretty much the same what we've done before. First of all, we set opacity of the entire content container to zero. Then we set display property of the details container to hidden and make the intro wrapper appear by setting its display property to block. After that, we select the content container and bring its display property back to block as well. And finally, we change its opacity to 100%. Now let's see if it works. First, we click the more button and then go back to the portfolio view. Everything seems to be working. Now I will quickly show you how to make the description sticky so that the text stays on screen even though you keep scrolling through mockups. All you need to do here is to set the position of the details container to sticky and add some space to the bottom, let's say 40 pixels. Then you need to make sure that the position property of its parent container, work text container in this case, is set to relative. Lastly, you can see that on Pentagram website, when clicking the Learn More and Portfolio View buttons, you appear to be at the top of the content container. It's a good feature because you kind of stay in one place despite scrolling through the mockups. To make it work, we first need to set some ID to the content container. Let's simply call it content. And then you just add this anchor link or section link to both buttons. Let's see how it works. 
So whenever you click the button, you get to the beginning of the content section. It doesn't matter if you scrolled all the way down, which is a really nice thing to have, in my opinion. Thank you for watching this video. Click the like button if you liked it and subscribe for more tutorials. Till next time.